I'm going to show you a few of the benefits of a SolidWorks 3D model. This is actually a viewer, what they call an e-drawings viewer. But you can grab the model and turn it around and view it from any angle. You can highlight an area, select Make Transparent, and then you can see through, see what's underneath. Highlight it again, select Make Solid, can't see through it anymore. In this case, we're going to zoom in on the on the uh, hatch up front, make transparent, and we can see that what's inside there is a little portable three-gallon fuel tank. So we're going to highlight that area again, select make solid, and we can't see through it anymore. Now we're looking down in the cockpit and I'm going to select what, what we call Panel A. Panel A is the panel that the whole boat is built around. So that's a plywood panel, half inch plywood, and it's just like a cookie cutter top view profile of the, uh, the boat hull. And that's what it provides a sort of a pattern to go by. So the top half is built on the top of that, the bottom is built on the bottom. Now what I'm going to do this time, instead of selecting just panel A, I'm going to go over to the design tree and select panel A assembly. And when I have that selected, I right click and I say separate assembly drawing. Now I can go into the model and here I have the whole panel A assembly with the transom and the spars and you know support for the transom. And you can see how the transom is really tied into panel A. And these spars run sponson to sponson across the middle of pa panel A. So it's a really tough structure when you build up the foam around that. So I'm going to close panel A assembly. Now we're back to the complete assembly. Now these are comments, and it's, these are comments that the CAD operator puts in there when he's doing this um, e-drawings model. And so that just says you're looking at the cockpit. Those are foot wells uh, that the rider uses. And you're in kind of a, a crouch motorcycle position when you're, when you're riding hydro runner. Now, with uh, any boat with the low sides that hydro runner has, you're going to get water into the, the inside. So we decided we don't care if we get water inside. We're going to get let it come in through these large holes and drain out through these large holes. And um, so these are fixtures that cover the holes on the outside. So when the boat gets up on plane, the foot wells are the water's just sucked out of the foot wells. When the boat settles down into the water, when it's off plane, then the foot wells fill up maybe about two or three inches of water. Now this is the cockpit itself. The center console is padded, knee, knee pads. There's a uh, instrument panel on the handlebars. And it's a sort of a crouched motorcycle riding position. Now the boat uses a portable fuel tank. And you can't just cover up a fuel tank and, and close it. So these are uh, uh, scoops that suck air out the back of the fuel compartment and this, this is a scoop that forces air in. So there's flow through ventilation into that fuel compartment, fuel tank compartment, and that keeps all the fumes out. Now this is just showing again the, the, uh, the hatch up front and it's showing that there are hinges on the right side of the hatch. So there's latches on the left side, hinges on the right side. And this is showing again the bottom of the hull, the fixtures that provide suction to suck the uh, 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 any water that happens to be in the footwell, suck the footwells dry. And this on the bottom, what I'm pointing out here is a what we call a planing platform. This is a flat area on the bottom of the hull and envision it like a ski. So when the boat gets on plane, it sort of skis on that flat area. 
And all this is a warning that says don't build it according to this model because we're not done with it yet. There's some, a lot of details that aren't, aren't in this model. So now what I want to show you is cross-section. You can open up this cross-section view, click on that, and then we've got a cross-section established to the, of the boat hull. And you can grab this panel and move it forward and back and a cross-section unfolds for you so you can see exactly what's going on inside the hull. Now what I'm pointing to here is the console is actually going to be hollow. It's uh, not hollow now. So that's part of what's not done about it. You can see the fuel tank inside the fuel tank compartment. Now I've switched direction so that the panel is going longitudinally, the cross-section panel, panel, instead of uh, crossways on the boat. And as I grab that and move it across, you can see the boat sort of unfolds and lets you see what's inside. So we're back to a um, uh, uh, you know complete exterior view of the boat. And there's one thing I haven't showed you yet. It's disabled, but it's the um, uh, measuring tool. And you see it's sort of grayed out in the image, but it, uh, so it won't operate on this model. But you can uh, activate that tool click on one point in the boat and then go you know move your cursor over and click on another point and it'll measure the distance between those holes thanks for watching the video if you're watching this on YouTube please subscribe and please press like and if you'd like to see some other sort of techie videos let me know and I will make them